Hi, welcome on Things to Consider. Whenever a customer purchases a blow-off or a cooling product, if there's an issue, inevitably, 9 out of 10 calls is on one particular issue. It's like, it's not working like the specs say. And it all comes down, 9 out of 10 times, to one thing. I have in my hand an air blow-off nozzle. If I hook that air blow-off nozzle on the end of a pipe, a hose, a tube, whatever I hook it up to, that air, that compressed air is coming along that supply to that nozzle, depending on the size of that tube or pipe, there's going to be a pressure loss. So they may be reading at a pressure gauge 100 pounds per square inch upstream, but it may not be that at the point of use. You want to be sure you put a pressure gauge a few inches upstream from that point of use and you measure the pressure while it's running because while it's running that's when the air is flowing that'll give you a true reading of the actual pressure at the point of use if it's much less than what the specs say then obviously you've got too high a pressure drop in the line similarly with air knives i have an air knife here in my hand an air knife is going to use more air than a nozzle, typically. So you have to be a bit more careful on the size of that supply line. Again, you'll have a pressure drop as it goes through that supply. If the line is too small, you're going to have a problem. If you have a venturi, such as one I have in my hand, which is used for conveying material, again, if the pressure drop is too high, it's not going to convey as well or as far. And finally, where, you, where people don't even notice most of the time, unless there is a problem in cooling, it's not cooling enough, is the supply line to a vortex panel cooler. Again, upstream it could be 100 pounds per square inch, but depending on the size of the cooler, you've got to watch the size of your supply line. I have seen eight millimeter supply lines trying to supply 40 CFM to a cooler that's maybe 10 feet long. It's not going to work. You're going to have a tremendous pressure loss. So watch and check your supply line. So if it doesn't work, check your line size.